Cheers, happy day, Sharon Hornells from here. How do you get people to take a shine to your business? Take a shine is an American expression from the 1880s, became popular back then, and of course it means to like, to become fond of, to, to have or to form a quick liking for something or someone. Uh, sometimes it means to like somebody based on their personality or on their appearance. A lot of times we're attracted to very attractive people. Who isn't attracted to a, a beautiful movie star or actress or a, or a handsome actor? Uh, that's part of why they're, they're movie stars and actors and famous people is because they're attractive. Check out social media if you don't believe me. Look at the number of likes that young, attractive, energetic people get versus old grandmas get. <laughs> it's just an example, but it, it's not a steadfast rule that, that more attractive people get more attention, but people and studies have been done that show that people are attracted to attractive people. Well, so how do you make your business more attractive? How do you get people to take a shine to your business? Well, the same way you get them to take a shine to you, right? People are attracted to businesses that have dynamic or a, a certain type leader that the customers you're trying to attract are attracted to. Uh, boy, that was a roundabout sentence, right? So how do you do that? Well, as a company, as an organization, you, number one, you have to love your ideal client. You've got to love your customers because guess what? People that we love, love us back. If we love our clients, if we love our customers, if we love the people that we serve, we serve them better, we're grateful for them, we're thankful for them, and all of that forms this cycle of attraction. It attracts the people, it, they know that we appreciate them, it increases their status because they feel like they're a member of the family of our business, they feel like they're important to us because they absolutely are, because without our customers, without our clients, there would be no business, right? If we didn't have people to solve problems for and to help, and to give value to, we wouldn't have a business. So how do you go about and purposefully get people to take a shine to your business? Number one, you be likable. You be a business that people are attracted to. You stand for things that your ideal client stands for. Number one, you stand for your ideal client. You be kind, you be generous, you be thankful, you be grateful for them. You. You appreciate and acknowledge them. You engage with them. You have a relationship with them. Number two, another way to get people to take a shine to your business is to be fun to be around or be somehow engaging and get people into the experience of doing business with you. If people feel good or have a positive experience doing business with your business, they'll come back and they'll do it again or they'll certainly tell other people. If you solve a problem for them forever and they never have to come back to you, not a great business strategy by the way, or business model, um, then they'll at least tell their friends and tell other people that they had a great experience with you. Um, there's, there's a saying, I love this expression, that you can add light to a room. Some people add light to a room when they enter it. Other people add light to a room or, or a party or an environment when they leave it. Be the organization that adds light to the room of everyone that you interact with. Not just your customers, but your vendors, your, your employees. You know, the companies that struggle with customer service are the companies that usually don't treat their employees very well. Another way to ensure that people take a shine to your company is to be interested in other people be interested in other things other companies other industries that can you can learn from that can add value to your company um, be interested in people be interested in by asking them questions be curious about them be curious about how things work around you so that you can find the things that work for the people that you're here to serve the other thing is to add incredible value. Make sure that your customers are having a great experience, add value to their life, solve problems, help them overcome challenges and obstacles, help them get what they want. If you help them get what they want, if you help them get a result, they will definitely love you and take a shine to you. And my, my bonus, number five, I would say, um, piece of advice in terms of how to get people and folks to take a shine to your organization, it's just to be yourself. Focus on what your organization and what you can uniquely do and provide to a specific group of people and 
Some people are going to love you. Some people are going to hate you. And it just doesn't matter because there's plenty of people. There's plenty of business. There's plenty of clients. There's plenty of customers for absolutely all of us, right? No matter how many businesses are created, there's always going to be enough customers for all of us. So if you come from uh, and approach your business with an abundance mentality, knowing that you'll always figure things out. There's always a way that, um, and, and being positive, uh, you will never have to worry about whether people take a shine to you or not. So that's my uh, little diatribe on the expression and the idiom take a shine to today. Would love to know your experience with this expression, how you think if, you know, are you applying this? Have you ever thought about this expression with respect to your business and your life? And if not, how could you apply it to your business today? What is one way that you could increase your company's ability to attract other people, to get them to take a shine to you? Guarantee there's a handful of free ways right now that all of us, any one of us, could do better, differently in our business and it doesn't cost us anything. It's just quick, easy tweaks. It's maybe we empower our customer service people. Maybe we, you know, come in and we say good morning to everybody or wish them a, a happy day or an awesome day. There's so many little ways that we can positively impact everyone around us and by positively impacting people, they automatically take a shine to us. People like people who like them. Oh, big secret, right? All right, have an absolutely amazing day. If I can help you anyway, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And even if it isn't impacting you, it's probably impacting someone around you. Any expression that's been around for uh, since the 1880s has obviously had an impact on the vast majority of human beings. Have a great day. Catch you tomorrow.